Bill is trying to piece together what led to a crash that sent two Halifax County deputies to the hospital. Investigators say a man stole a car in Nash County and then led authorities on a high-speed chase to Halifax town of Weldon, where he crashed into two Halifax deputy cruisers. WRL's Keenan Willard at that scene at the wreck uh, with questions we are posing to investigators today. Keenan, good afternoon. <laughs> Ken, it came to an end right here at this intersection in Weldon. This is 3rd Street and Sycamore Street, obviously clear this morning. That was not the case yesterday afternoon. It led up, though, to this moment with this video you can see here. A driver, according to investigators, leading sheriff's deputies from I-95 in Nash County all the way up into Halifax. Deputies throughout the way on this high-speed chase, trying maneuvers to try and bring him to the side of the road and end it. It did not come to a final stop, though, until this intersection when that driver crashed into multiple Halifax deputies, sending two of them to the hospital. Now, they were listed in good condition yesterday evening. Today, we are posting uh, a number of questions to both the Nash and Halifax County Sheriff's Office, asking them if they believe that this chase was justified and followed their chase policies because it took place starting from I-95 in Nash and ended up in Halifax. We are also working to learn the identities of the two deputies that were injured, as well as the suspect. The Nash County Sheriff says that uh, man who is accused of carjacking someone and leading deputies on this chase did not have any ID on them, and they're still actively working to get his identification and see if he has any prior charges before he faces charges potentially in this situation. He is still, though, as of last night, listed in critical condition in a hospital in Greenville. So questions about his condition this morning. We're working to learn all of this information today and presenting an update on the WRL Evening News. Ken. A lot of layers to that story. Keenan Willard live today in Halifax County. Keenan.